So basically I'm showing you how the arrangement to the song is like if you scroll through the MP, you'll see all those right there. That is the arrangement for the song. 30 is the intro, da 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 da. And then the hook is 25, so the sequence pretty much runs the same all the way through. This is like one the sequence change. of the song. So this is just play. It's like a slight drum change, and then we have. Oh, that's a whole nother beat I'm working on. It ain't even finished yet. But this is like another part of, part of it. You know, then you go to song mode, you arrange all the parts in song mode, and then you just press play. It's like the little intro. I'm gonna change that, but that's the intro. Basically, I'm gonna track it in Pro Tools now. So, um, I gotta separate everything. Um, see, I'm not one of those Fruity Loop Reason users that, you know, I can just do the wave files. Like, I use my MP, I use the Phantom, and then I got a whole rack of shit here that I use, you know, G5. This is my mix board. I have another mix board, but for now, this is what it is. It's a Panasonic DA7. It's sort of a hybrid digital analog board. Um, but boom, go back to the main window. And I'm just gonna put everything in Pro Tools. So while the track is playing, you see I have the kick coming up. So I'm just gonna sign everything. That pops up. I don't know if you can see it, but it says folks. So I'm gonna put in KIK. That's the kick drum. And then I click return. Then I go to the next channel. I arm that channel and boom. Now I've got I've got actually two sounds coming out of there which shouldn't be. Because that should be a snare. So I can solo it. Actually that is my hi-hat. So I'm gonna do that. That pops up. Hat. Now I'm gonna do this for everything so that when it comes time to mix it, you know, I can I can have my sounds all arranged and of course you can see my kick is too loud so let me set this all up and this is the buses you know what I'm saying so this these four faders here that's how I get sound the sounds from the MP and all the other modules into Pro Tools so boom this just adjusts the level so that nothing's peaking nothing's bleeding and now I'm ready to track the beat but the first thing you gotta do with the MP is you have to go mode, MIDI sync, you get to the sync window and you change that to MIDI clock. And then you hit mode again and you go into song mode. Right? Now if you look, when I press play on Pro Tools, the MP should start to play. So now after you do that, when I press play, you're gonna see this little counter start moving. When I press play, it's going to it's going to trigger my MP, right? So I'm going to go up here, press play. See, it's playing. The MP is playing. And that's basically going to be how I track my song. So I'll show you in a second. Once I put everything in record, so and I it named just everything. Right. Kick, hat, clap, open hat, slow guitar. Um, the one that's not highlighted red, I haven't assigned yet. And I've got a wah guitar in there. So I'm going to now go back up here and I'll show you in the other window. Come out, hit enable record, press play, and you'll see it is now recording. It's going to record the whole song mode. tracking everything out. 